Hi everybody, this is Goozer from Gaming with Goozer, back again with another video. I'm recording this incredibly late because I had to replay through the game to get... I hit this area where sound wasn't working. Attic, it was all distorted. Uh, I tried working with PlayStation, I tried a couple of their methods to try and fix it, nothing was fixing it. The only other thing I could think of to do was start a new game, start a new save. I couldn't, because I always uh, save in the same save slot, so I couldn't just go to a previous save and try, which I had, I'm going to start breaking that habit right now. Uh, but now I am back at the part where that happened and the glitch is gone the audio is working fine so I'm gonna go ahead and record a quick video cuz I didn't think this was gonna happen I'm really happy it is so uh, let's let's go ahead and see what we were gonna miss that night yeah the audio was just awful right here I don't know what was going on Oh, there's one of those things in the... Hopefully I'll have a, a clip of uh, my audio doing that, so I can... Uh-oh. So I can show you guys. What is this, like World War One barracks? That's kind of what it reminds me of. I hate that you can hear them outside underneath the ground. It's kind of creepy. I knew I could hear music. I can't get over there. Hmm. Wait, is there another one of those things in here? No? Nothing. Oh, the sneak. I didn't think about that. That might work on these guys that are underground. Sneaking might work. No guarantee, but it might. I'm going to try it. Is it working? Oh, he's in there. Hear your nasty ass in there. Oh my god. You can. You can sneak by them. Oh, but how close can I get? Yeah, no, I was not sticking around to fight him to find out. Even though it doesn't look like there was anything in here I actually needed, and opening that was nothing. So where do I go? Oh, 
Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So sneaking does work. I think that's where we're going. I know there's one right over here. I saw him in the dirt when I was up on the ledge. I don't know if this is gonna work. <gasps> it can work. Oh, what do you know? Oh my god, there's a lot of them. I imagine I have to get to solid ground if they get near me. You're kidding me. We're down to three shots, boys. That sucked. I don't know why I decided, hey, you know what? I should pick this up. Let's fuck with them. Oh, you know what? I'm going back to sneaking. I don't know if there's more. There very well could be. I hear them. There's more. Oh, I can dodge. Oh, but he can't come across this. Ah, I see, I see. He's been hit a couple times. I went from 23 bullets to seven, guys. That's nuts. Uh, maybe go for headshots? Okay, my melee weapon's about to break, so yeah, I'm definitely taking that. There's gotta be a way to get to the other side. Oh, the pipe, there we go. I don't see them moving. Go back down. 
Yeah, he's coming. Where am I supposed to go? Oh god, you're kidding. Oh boy. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. I was like, okay, yeah, sure. We'll get up to the top of the building, but then... Oh. Oh? Tough cloth. Oh, to zip line. Oh, okay. Yeah, come on, Carby. Wouldn't you rather fall to your death than go up in flames? Yes. So we're still in the dream. Or the alternate, or the memory. We're still in Jeremy's memory. Okay. I don't know if I should be running to my destination, sneaking, walking. I just, I, I don't know what's ahead. Oh, it's nothing good. What the fuck is that? Uh-uh. Oh. Uh-uh. Nope. Is that? I still hear it. I noticed I just walked on one of those things too. What the fuck is this? I hear it. It's like stalking me. I don't know what to do. I probably shouldn't run, right? Sneaking, good idea, yeah? It's the hateful mound Jeremy talked about in his book. What, the thing chasing me or? Oh, this, the mound. Oh, oh great, we're gonna go in it. Oh, fan, fantastic. Don't come any closer. I'm armed. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You're after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's alright. He might be unharmed, but far from alright. He's a curse upon DeSetto. Oh, here we go again. Quiet! Wow. 
What? Oh Christ in heaven. So is she okay? That was a memory he said. Not not like a different world. Or maybe a different world? I, I don't know, he said memory earlier. What's in the back? A palette knife? Left holding back. Intended for painting, but it's in a slide. <gasps> I get my shotgun. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain contexts. Reflections on the power of what? the verb in certain texts. By Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid, in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Okay, look at this. What does that say, that circled? Is that like a constellation? The Great Library. Towers. It is. It's a constellation. Okay. Interesting. Sitting room key. Okay. I think we can get at this now. Ooh. No? Really? I thought the painting knife or whatever would have been enough, but... It's wedged shut. Oh, that's what these are for now. Okay. I don't think I have everything I need. Okay, so that's a puzzle. Barlow lends instructions. The Barlow lens instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Okay, so Barlow, fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Okay, so we need that lens in order to uh, use a telescope. The cellar key. Oh, okay. Okay. What's this? Dog collar. Don't mind if I do. Okay, it's a collectible. We have all the lost children. All right, rubber stamp, the fountain pen, and the dog collar. Are non-essential items that you can find throughout the game. Completing sets won't cover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. Interesting. Okay. So wait, did that uncover anything? Three or three. Lost children. Show bonus text. The lone and the lost walk a land of fear. When there is nothing you recognize or no one you trust, you prepare for the worst. Something is coming and you best to be ready. Take the gun in the parlor, give them hell. Take the gun in the parlor and give them hell. The lone and the lost walk alone. Oh, I could have just played it, okay. When there is nothing you recognize 
or no one to trust, you prepare for the worst. Something is coming, and you best be ready. Take the gun in the parlor. Give them hell. The gun in the parlor. I take it they're talking about the shotgun, but how do I... How do I get the shotgun, you know? I don't know, I've picked up a few items in here now. I guess we could go try again. I think it needs a key. And we did pick up a few keys. Oh, now we're talking. Oh, it's open. Why was it open? The shotgun. Oh, I didn't mean to heal. Okay, that's how I plot the shotgun. Okay. Well, that was a waste of a health. Oh well. It's fine. I'm sure we'll find a few more in the house, so. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, so. Let's try to. What? That wasn't... What the... Uh oh. This wasn't locked. I came in here. Through that door. What the... Ah! What the fuck just happened? I just got ambushed! What the fuck was that? Why was my window open? Dude, I don't feel comfortable opening doors anymore. There's a serious leak in this room and someone needs to fix it. This is the cellar, right? The one that needed the key? No. No. Ah, oh, in here. Cellar key. Yes. But also, like, hell no. <laughs> you know? I don't know what's down here. I don't have any health left. Or healing items. Switch. Key item. Sounds like something electrical. Broken glass. What? No. It what worked? What? What? I I think I missed what just happened. I think there was electrical water right here, and I found the way to turn it off before even realizing that it was happening, because I heard the shocking. I just didn't... 
Should I turn back on the power? Uh, yeah, no, nah, I'd rather have the big axe, to be honest. Dude, but why? Wait, 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 wait. I might not need to at all. Oh, shit, yes, I do. He's right in front of the room. I don't like this one Jeremy? bit. What? What is going on? <gasps> what the hell is going on? Right? Where's the body? Piece of the broken plate. Oh, I put away my gun, so I take it there's no threat anymore. Okay. We just need one more piece. See how hesitant he was to open that? Now wait a minute. The boiler room. Conservatory. The clerk's office. The drawing room. Drawing room! We need to get to the drawing room. Okay. That might be what that little like spackle is for. Okay, so it's up here, right? No, this is the library. So it's through here, right? No, so that leaves. This way, but there's not another. Oh, I have to get to it through the library. Oh. Or is that just the. Uh... Is the puzzle in here just the. Yeah, it's just a telescope. Okay, well, what's out here? I don't think I ever went up there. Oh, you can't. Still hear whispers when you're near the tree. They're getting louder, in fact. So, what are... didn't know what to make of the grotesque vision of the dead club. Was he dead, or was it all fiction? It was a bust. The oil rig and the hateful mound led him nowhere closer to finding Jeremy. Combe was sure he had struck gold when he found Jeremy's bag, but it was just a trap set by Lottie, another of Deceto's orderlies. Things got out of hand real quick, 
but somehow Combi managed to find his way back to Deceto, none the wiser. At least it was one item off his list. Now he had to figure out what to do with the boiler. Okay, and there's no other objectives, so I don't really know where to go now. I guess we can go try our, what was that? Is that this? Anyways, I have a key I can try out now. So we'll go try that out. Please no more weird visions. I'm kinda good for the moment. It's wedged shut. Not worked. anymore. Oh, this looks perfectly normal. Thank you. I don't know if I should open that door yet. Or this one. Wait, what? That's all? This leads me back to here, so... What's in here? Detective Conby! How good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. <laughs> it fits perfectly with the state of this place and its... loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening so harmonious. I, uh... Hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, evening, miss. Okay, that was interesting. While she's sitting there, I don't think anything can really happen. Oh, what? Okay. Great depression of baguette. Rat poison, it looks like a syringe. Wait a minute, I wanna look over there. Just hang on, David Harbor. Don't run out of breath just yet, my guy. Can I get oh. some more of that whiskey? 
Oh. Go ahead, detective. I don't think I can stomach any more anyway. Am I bothering you? On the contrary, detective. I enjoy watching professionals at work. Well, I better get going. Bye now, detective. Don't take any wooden nickels. And that's all of the conversation I'm gonna have with her. Okay. She's interesting. I'll give her that. Very interesting. Oh, what the? Oh, there's something down there. I. I wonder if I should go up first, though. I need the key. Okay. I mean, it kind of looks like I could just drop down, to be honest. Where does this lead? Okay. Now let's go the other way. Oh, thank God, a health. What? Uh, why can I not interact with that door? We all just heard that. Check the other side too. And then I. Oh no, she's gone. Oh god. I felt safe so long because there was someone else here, dude. Oh. We're back in this hallway again? That's where this leads. Alright. There's nothing really curious on this end. Kind of just takes us back to the main section of the house. Alright, before we continue, I need to check something, guys. Alright. So we're going to end right there, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys really do enjoy this series. I've been enjoying the crap out of it. Uh, Galaxy, thank you guys. Thank you so much for editing this, man. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm sure he enjoys every time I play a scary game because he likes to watch me get scared. Uh, but <laughs> thank you guys for watching so much. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button. Really, It's the best way to help out. Uh, the channel if you enjoy the content if you guys do enjoy the content and you guys want to see more be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, If you want to be notified every time I upload a new video be sure to click that bell to be notified every time I do upload one and uh, Leave your best spice sentence down in the comment section below Let me know what you guys think of these videos and what you guys would like to see more of and what videos you guys would like to see next Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. This is Goozer from Game of Goozer signing off mm -hmm.